ओके हेलो एंड वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास सेवन डी एंड सेवन थी आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल यस्टरडे वी हैव डिस्कस चैप्टर नंबर वन इंटीजर एंड आई वाज डिस्कसिंग फ्यू ऑफ द फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ नंबर सिस्टम सो एज यू नो दैट वी हैव डिस्कस होल नंबर नेचुरल नंबर एंड इंटीजर्स and yesterday we have also discussed uh, the uh, difference between all these three numbers three types of numbers and i also give you one uh, exercise or you can say the one uh, one uh, you can say the work assignment to do this so i hope you have completed the assignment few of you have uh, do the assignment and few of you also send me the assignment but few of you made some kind of mistakes so those who have um, commit mistakes i will uh solve the exercise so that you have to improve yourself and you have to appreciate yourself that you have already do the work this is most important thing okay class so yesterday i was discussing about this pdf so basically i have give you the assignment i think you have seen the this uh, assignment which is so that identify the following numbers are whole number integer or a natural number right yes or no so i'll give you few numbers and i have to write down whether it is a natural integer a natural number or whole number and i give you the very brief introduction of uh, all these three num types of number so as you know that is 12 12 is a uh, uh, integer yes it is an integer just because of that it is positive and uh, it is that's why it is an integer then and this is written 12 Uh, is a real natural number yeah this is a natural number and it is a whole number yes it is a whole number similarly similarly the question is ask uh oh, oh wait yeah question is ask minus 12 is an integer so my dear students you know that minus 12 is a integer because you, we know that in integer positive and negative both types of number are included so yes this is integer yes this is an integer now the next is is minus 12 is a natural number so i tell you earlier that in natural number system there is no concept of negative numbers or zero so we will not conclude negative any negative number or a zero in the natural number so that's why it is no it is not a natural number and again in whole number is this minus 12 is a whole number the answer is very simple the whole number is uh, is itself a natural number but it contains zero as a extra digit so uh, whole number does not contain any negative number so it will uh, it is uh, it, it's a it's it's a no it's not a natural uh, it's not a whole number okay so we will write no again zero so now zero is come you know that in integer we have to conclude all both types of number negative number positive number and zero so yes zero is comes in the in this category so that's why zero is also an integer very good student i hope you have uh, uh, understand each and everything and if you find any difficulty to understand please let me know after that uh, is zero is a natural number i told you earlier that the natural number start only with one So zero is not a natural number. So you will write no. Zero is not a natural number. Again, you have to write the whole number is is zero a whole number. You will write simply yes because whole number starts from zero. That's why it is a whole number. Very good. Now its number is written as forty five point six five. So forty five point six five basically a number which contain a decimal digit. And I told you earlier earlier that the its uh, integer is only contain positive negative and zero so and is this 45.65 is an uh, integer it's a decimal number so it will not considered as uh, integer so we will write is no it is not a integer similarly natural number does not contain any decimal so it is also no and uh, and uh, this whole number this is also no because they all are uh, contain the same definition this is big uh, again this minus 89.09 you know that this is a negative number minus 89 8909 yes it is a whole it is a integer 
similarly it is a natural number yes you can know you, uh, it's not a natural number because of that natural number does not contain any negative number similarly whole number does not contain any negative number so i think the explanation was very simple you can easily understand it the same idea is also there this is uh, yes it is minus 90 is an uh, integer but it is not a whole number as well as natural number i i already give you the explanation now this thing is written that 12 upon 34 you know this thing that this is a fraction that is in the form of numerator upon denominator 12 is a numerator 34 is a denominator this is a fraction so the fraction is not a part of integer so you will write easily this is not an integer okay and uh, it is also not a whole number and not a natural number very good student and you uh, in the same way you have to write uh, minus 0.999 so this is also a decimal number so we will write no for that and this is also not a natural number and also not a whole number so okay so i think you have got the solution so my dear student those who have missed the this exercise and if you have any problem to solve this exercise pause the video and do the Uh, right answer do, do the do the solution till that i am just uh, click the photo and i will send you after that okay so you have to write down pause the video and write all the answers okay 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 mm. now class just wait for a second very good class moving on i'm now now i'm just uh, moving on to the book i'm just uh, moving to the book now i uh, think wait 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 we have to move to the book yeah this is the book so this is your book and page number 5 you can see that we have discussed the integer whole number natural number now it's time for uh, modular or absolute value of an integer so students i just want to tell you a few more things before moving to this part i just want to say that yesterday i was told you that zero is not considered as positive or negative number it's just a digit which is neutral by nature that means it does it does not contain any positive or negative value i hope you get the point now moving on i'm just uh, want to uh, tell you few more things that is uh, uh a modular or absolute integers okay so now uh, look at the definition the definition said that the modular or absolute value of an integer is always positive okay that means that these numbers are all absolute value is always positive whenever we want to write an absolute value it's always positive i hope you get the point absolute value is always positive by nature uh you, you i think you get the point it wherever the value is negative it always give you the positive value so it represent the numeric value of an integer that is ignore the sign the absolute value of integer is denoted by a okay so we have to general understanding of this uh, this uh, system is that like i'll just give you the example suppose this is the symbol of absolute value suppose uh, i just want to make the absolute value so uh, wait for a second mm, okay if you want to write an absolute value so mm, what we have to do we have to write in thus this symbol this is a true lines and this is a this a is a number and these two lines suggest this is an absolute number okay this is an absolute number okay have you got the point and uh, a is equals to a that means it always give the positive value okay so if the value of a is negative suppose the absolute value i want the value absolute value of minus a if i want to i want the value of minus a then the value of minus a is also a positive okay so absolute value always gives the positive value okay so absolute value of modulus will always give the positive value keep this thing on your mind that absolute value always give positive value i hope you get the point absolute value always give positive value so that it all it never gives the negative value i'll give you few more example 
suppose I take the value. Suppose the question is given. I'll write few values, and you want to write the absolute value of the following. Suppose uh, I just want to write the value like this. Uh, you have to find the value of uh, absolute value of minus four or uh, minus twenty two or twelve, or you can say uh, minus uh, eighty nine. Okay, so you have to find the absolute value of the following. So how you have to find the absolute value? Once you want to want the absolute value, so you have to write this symbol. This symbol. So first we have to find the value of minus four. So you know that the absolute value is always positive. So minus the absolute value of minus four will become four. This is very simple. It is as simple as that. So the value is always positive. Now suppose the question is given. The value is minus four. Uh, sorry, minus twenty-two. So the absolute value of uh, minus twenty-two is become positive twenty-two. I hope you get the point. Similarly, the question is given. This is uh, minus. Uh, this is twelve. Okay, this is twelve. Okay, so that twelve is, uh, is there. No no sign is given in that uh, in in twelve. So by default, it is considered as positive value. So the absolute value of twelve is twelve. After that. What is the absolute value of minus eighty nine? So the value of minus eighty nine should be eighty nine. So this is the whole fund of the absolute value. I hope you get the point that uh, whatever the value, whatever the situation, it always gives the positive value. So uh, I'll just take one more example. Suppose the uh, I want to find the absolute value of zero. So you know the absolute value of zero. The absolute value of zero should be zero. And you know that zero is neither positive nor negative, so zero absolute value of zero should be zero. Of uh, uh, other than all values, whether it is positive or negative, it always gives the negative value. We have to uh, conceive. We we have to this. Uh, we the symbol of this uh, positive uh, uh, absolute value or modulus value is this. Um, the two lines or whatever the value is placed in between the two lines, these are called uh, absolute value. So I'm just repeating again. Whatever the value is, is uh, written in these two lines, these two lines, these value are considered as modulus or absolute value. So I think you get the point. So the same thing is mentioned in the book. I'm just going to share with the screen. Screen. Okay. Yes. Uh, wait for a second. So I think you get the point. Now representation of a number line. Okay, representation of number line. So my dear students, whatever the number, you can see the number line. You can easily see the number line. You can easily see the number line. We have to represent all the numbers, all the numbers in the number line. There is no problem in this. So the number line can be represented in that way. Uh, look at the number line. We can represent integers on a number line. Uh, line as you can see, there there is a line is given. So in the in the line, there there is at the mid there is a there is zero. Okay, and uh, from their right side, all the values are positive, and at their left side, all the values are negative. So this is the basic idea that zero is placed at the middle. And uh, and all the values from the right of the right side of the zero are positive values, and all the values uh, from the left side are the negative values. One more thing you need to address that the numbers from uh, zero from the right side, or you can say the from the positive side, they start like one, two, three, four, and so on. Similarly, the values from the left side are just like this: minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, and so on. So this is how the number line is drawn, and one thing that is very important that all the distance between um, the integers are equal. That means the distance between the two integers are equal. That means zero and one have the same distance, and the one and two have the same distance. So I think you get the point. The and the, the thing that we have to under, understand that we have learned addition and subtraction of integers using the number line in the previous classes. I think you have already idea about the number line, and if you don't know the idea, then I will uh, teach you again. Uh, 
we uh, we all know that on the number line we have add, added a positive integer or subtract a negative integer move to the right subtract a positive number and uh, a negative integer move to left okay this is the basic idea suppose if you want if 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 if, if i am standing in one and if i want to add two that means we have to move in two steps that means we have to move from 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 similarly if if i am standing in 3 and i have subtracting 2 so we have to move uh, from left side uh, that that is 3 and 2 1 we have to move to 1 so i'll give you for one practical example uh just wait for a second uh, okay i'm just going to draw a number line suppose uh i just write a black number line suppose there is a number line i can draw it any order so don't worry about the order so suppose there is there is a number line there are various types of number line so i have draw all the all the positions of the integers in the number line so that you can easily identify actually i am not using the scale so the distance may be uh, bit uh, uh, low and high so there no problem in this suppose so suppose we have to place this value zero at the center which is neutral and the values which are from the right of the zero are positive number okay these are the positive numbers so the values like uh, one this is two this is three this is four this is five okay this is five and this is 6 and so on similarly from the zero from the left side from the zero we have to draw like this uh wait for a second this is from 0 to minus 1 <laughs> Minus two. Minus three. Minus four. This is minus. Five, and this is minus six. Mm, minus six. This is the right side of the. This is the left part. This is the left part. This is the left left side. Left side. side are negative contain negative numbers and all the uh, right side are considered as positive numbers contain positive numbers okay r i right side a uh, contain contain negative or uh, positive numbers okay i have you get the point now we need to understand that zero is at the center so now we have to understand that this is a number line and uh, if i if i am suppose i am standing here okay okay suppose i am standing here if i want to plot the, the 
if someone said that okay okay dear so okay siddharth plot the minus uh, plot uh, uh, five minus two or zero on the number line plot the following plot the following integers in a in a number line so you can easily understand that i have to plot this number five uh, minus two and zero in the number line what we have to do we have to simply plot the number so first of all five so you know that five is lies uh, right side from the zero so we have to take the with the five, positive five is lie here so we have to mark this is positive five this is positive five this is positive five you can easily understand that this is positive five similarly if you want to ask minus two so you can easily see that this is minus two if you want to ask a zero plot the zero so this is the point zero okay so i'll just give you the exercise so that uh, you can easily understand we have easily plot the numbers in the number line so i'll just uh, give you some little exercise after the class so that you, uh, in the pdf format so that you have to plot all the following numbers on the number line this is a very good concept pause the video and uh, see this again if you have any problem otherwise i am just moving ahead okay class now let's move on let's move on suppose we have to add two numbers in a number line suppose we have to add two numbers suppose the number is given 5 suppose two numbers are given in the form that 5 plus uh 5 plus 1 so how we have to do yeah you can say that 2 uh, plus 1 so suppose we i am stand uh, wait 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 oh, oh. suppose i am standing in 2 suppose i am standing in 2 i am standing in this position 2 okay standing in 2 and i have to move plus 1 so i have to move from the left side and it will 2 plus 1 3 this will become 3 so this is how uh, 2 plus 1 we have to if we add two numbers so we uh, if we add two positive numbers we have to move uh, right side okay if we if we if we add a number we have to move right side and if we add subtract a number we have to move left side suppose if i am uh, writing in that way 5 minus 3 so what is 5 minus 3 you can easily understand that suppose i am standing in 5 this is this is 5 5 so that means i am standing in 5 and i have to move three steps that means 1 2 3 the because the symbol is given is a minus so we have to move uh, uh, toward the left side that means the left side is like this uh wait 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 okay this is 5 so we have to move uh, left side so that is 1 2 3 so we have to move uh, left side so once once there is a negative sign we have to move left side in the number side uh, number line and once there is a positive number so we have to move right side okay i think you get the point this this is the whole thing that is mentioned in the book as well okay so you can easily understand 2 5 plus uh, 5 minus 3 is equals to 2 okay you can easily understand and 2 plus 1 is equals to 3 so this is the whole idea of the number system so i will give you some exercise so that you can easily plot this thing and easily add and subtract these two things now let's move on and watch a few more things that is i think uh, that will going to help you in this uh, tutorial so i think remember that zero is always the middle of the uh, i already explained these things so now we have to understand the ordering of the number so ordering of an integer so we have to understand this point as well what is the ordering of an integer uh, or a number line if the number a is right of the number b a is greater than b similarly if the number lies if a number a lies on the left of the number b that is a is less than b so it is very i think very difficult to understand this is very easy concept Uh, always observe the following things don't believe this thing you have to believe on the one idea that is all the positive numbers are always greater than negative number so you have to keep few things on your mind 
you have to keep following things on your mind that is the positive numbers key points key points are are positive number is always positive number positive number number is always always greater than greater than negative number okay this is the point that positive number is always greater than negative number it means that suppose the number is given that 23 and one more number is given that one more number is given that uh, minus uh, my, uh, minus 56 minus 56 if i am asking that which number is greater so you can easily understand that positive number is always greater than a negative number so you can easily said that sir this number plus 23 is greater than minus 56 i'll take one more example suppose i am taking one more number that is uh, 12 and uh, minus 12 so which number is greater you can easily identify that this positive 12 is greater than negative 12 so positive number is always greater than negative 12 you have to keep this thing on your mind and you can write down all these things on your notebook you have to pause the video and write all these points the second point is zero is always always greater than greater than uh, greater than uh, negative numbers always remember that zero is always greater than negative number suppose the number zero and a minus suppose two numbers are minus 5 and zero are written so which number is greater you can easily understand that zero is always greater than negative number so so in this case zero is always greater than negative number one more example is given that uh, suppose one number is given minus 10 another is zero so which number is greater you can easily identify that zero is greater than uh, minus uh, zero is greater than minus 10 yeah minus 10 is less than zero so this is another point third is zero is always always less than less than negative uh, positive numbers zero is always less than positive number that means zero is always less than positive number suppose two numbers are given zero and plus 5 so you can easily identify that zero is always less than 5 so zero 5 is always greater than um, the zero because five is a positive number suppose similarly suppose the two numbers 5 and uh, 12 which number is greater there is no problem in this uh, 12 is the greater number so this is how we have to understand the things and the last but not least thing is that in the negative number if if, if we talking about the negative numbers negative numbers the number which is at the at the uh, at the uh, at the lies number negative number number which is lies lies uh left most side of negative number most side is always is always greater greater okay so i think it this will be bit confusing so i will give you better explanation suppose two numbers are given suppose the one number is given is minus 1 and minus 2 suppose there are two numbers are given so in our case in our general cases when when the two numbers are positive in in, in junior classes you have already learned that, that when two numbers are given 1 and 2 you can easily identify that one is always greater than 2 but in case of negative number the number which is lies uh on the left most side of this uh, integer that means in minus 1 and minus 2 minus 2 is at the left left most side of the number line so it is always greater than 
minus one is always greater than uh, negative number. So this will minus one is always. I mean minus one is greater than minus two. Number which is lies in the rightmost side. Rightmost side is always greater. Okay. Suppose similarly, suppose two uh, two more numbers. Suppose I just give you one more example. Suppose two numbers minus ten or minus five. You can easily understand that if if is these are positive numbers plus ten or plus five. You can easily say that plus ten is greater than plus five. But this is a negative number, so you can easily say that uh, plus minus five is uh, uh, greater than minus ten. Similarly, you have to do one more experiment. Uh, suppose the two numbers minus twelve and minus twenty-four. Which number is greater? You can easily identify this. Minus twelve is lie is a great. Uh, if the minus twelve is a plus uh, plus twelve and plus twenty-four are positive numbers, so twenty-four is greater. But in case of negative number, minus twelve is greater. So I think you have get the concept. I'll give you a few more exercises so that you can easily identify these things. So you, I think you have to understand this idea. so you have to conclude this thing in that way so class today i have to wind up my class and i will provide you some uh, video uh, some exercise as well so you can easily do this uh, this thing on a better way thank you class i and uh, hope for the best thank you